In Peru, the museum known as place of remembrance, tolerance, and social inclusion has been shut down recently. Analysts say disclosure is political motivated and that, that there are no technical reasons behind it, as argued by the authorities in charge of executing the controversial measure. Our colleague Ramiro Angulo has more. The Museum for Remembrance, Tolerance, and Social Inclusion which opened in 2015 to reflect upon the terrorist violence Peru endured from 1980 to 2000, has just been closed following a disorganized municipal inspection procedure, which has raised suspicions of it being a political decision by the ultra-right conservative party Renovación Popular. That is the opinion of Sofia Macher, one of the former commissioners responsible for the Truth and Reconciliation Report, an account of the era of political violence in our country. And it is because of that abrupt change and that irregularity in the decision of the municipality of Miraflores. That one can speculate within reason that the decision was politically motivated so as not to have to make the report by Amnesty International public. But it was very critical of the government. The Deputy Secretary of the National Human Rights Coordinator, Miguel Hugo, has criticized the statement by Conservative Lima Mayor Rafael Lopez who said that the Remembrance Museum has to be handed over to the police and the armed forces, a move intended to install a single narrative about the era of political violence, which, according to figures from the Truth Commission report, about 69,000 people died. It is an affront to the victims of violence. It is an affront to the collective memory of the country. And it is sad to see the timid, almost apathetic reaction of the executive, with the Ministry of Culture issuing a statement saying they will be fixing the things that the municipality says are wrong, but didn't say a word about the quasi-censorship of the Amnesty International report. For Gloria Cano, a lawyer for the Human Rights Association, spaces such as the Remembrance Museum are necessary to seek consensus but she considers that measures such as those taken by the municipality of Miraflores undermines the right of citizens to know the history of a painful period for the country. There is a segment that keeps turning a blind eye, a deaf ear, who wants to go against the current, against the truth trying to impose their biases, and we find completely unacceptable that they intend to use the municipalities in which they have been elected to push their ideology. For Macher, getting out of the present crisis in Peru will require the government to accept its responsibility for the recent violence and then host the national dialogue to bring back peace to the country. Dialogue is only possible if the government honestly takes responsibility for its action and is willing to listen to what the communities are demanding. To the demands of people protesting, people are upset. Very upset. I think there is no chance for dialogue unless the government gives some indication that they are willing to show some honesty. According to analysts, the Boluarte government joins the campaign by the traditional Peruvian right wing seeking to minimize human rights violations in the country. Since Boluarte took power, there have been some 70 people killed at protests against her presidency. Ramiro Angulo Machiavello, Telesur, Lima.